so in this video we are going to see how we can implement static factory actions in a vaporistful application programming model this video is a part two of a factory action which uh, in which we have seen instance bound factory action in our previous video and uh, where we have seen how we can use a copy functionality to the existing record when using instance bound factory action one or more business object instance can be copied and uh, it creates a new instance based on the copy data basically but uh, in the static factory actions uh, they can be used to create the instances with default values okay so these are the things which we have seen in our previous video and uh, in this video we will be seeing how we can use the static factory action the difference is minimal here in normal factory actions or instance bound factory actions only the factory keyword is added but uh, when we talk about the static factory actions a static keyword is also added in front of factory keyword this also has a cardinality of one and uh, the normal action if we talk about they are related to instance of a bu entity but uh, when we talk about the static then it allows you to to directly relates to a complete entity not only the instance of the bio object it means uh, for example let's try to understand like this if you define an action then uh, you you normally work on one or two fields of the instance for example updating the status of a field which we have seen in one of our previous video but uh, when you talk about the static factory actions or static action then it creates all together a new entity with the default values it is not updating anything but it is creating the whole new instance of bio there is no result parameter in the static factory actions everything is uh, determined by a response parameter which is mapped so this was the high level intro what static factory actions are now let's see how we can implement technically these factory actions or static factory actions in a restful application programming model i am in the eclipse now and uh, this is what the factory action which we have created in our previous video which is used to copy the student record now let's create a static factory action here which will create a new business object instance so let's copy this everything would be same we will just need to add a new uh, keyword static and uh, let's change the name create instance of video so create instance is a method name which will be of type static and in this this will be responsible to create the new instance of bio with some default values so whenever you have a requirement or a scenario where you want to create new records with some default values for some of the fields or all of the fields then uh, these static instance uh, static factory actions can be used there now let's activate this this got activated now the second step is let's uh, implement the method so click on this and uh, double click on the method now see we got a new method created here create instance and the same has been added here as well 
so you have the importing parameter as a key since we will be creating a new instance of bio then uh, there will not be a key available in the system for the record so instead of we creating a key for the new record the system will automatically create a unique key for us and uh, that would be available inside the percent c id which is uh, called content id so let's see how we can use that key and how we can create the record with the default values now let's go to the method here we will be writing a small code to create the record with default values now to create a record we always use modify modify entities of is this in local mode and uh, our entity is student now we need to create the values and provide some default values to the column so this is how we will do that create from now for instance whatever the cid value system will create in the keys let's use that and uh, create a field symbol in in keys and now what we are going to do is we will be providing the value we will be providing the value to the columns so our first column would be percentage cid which will which will contain the auto generate key that would be available in percent cid again and our next column is age let's put the age as one then our next column is course and uh, course name it's a character so set c1 then the course duration and that would be c1 and the first name let's provide a default value of fnm for first name now the last name would be ln and uh, let's take a dynamic value date of birth so date of birth we current date sy datum okay and now these these are all the columns and these are all the default values now when you when you create a record you also need to update onto the controls whatever these default values are there right on the object page so for that we will be using percent control and the values would be now the values would be on which on which fields i want to up, update the values basically so i will be doing on and off for the fields for which i want to update these values these default values and for some of the field if i do not want to update these values i will put them as off so 
I want to show the age field. On. So age field I want to show the default value after creation or I want to save the default value in the age column. Now the next column is course I want to add the value here as well for duration I do not want to save the value even though I am passing this value but I do not want to save it that's why I am passing it off here course duration then the first name for this I want to make it on then last name I want to keep it on then date of birth I want to keep it on okay so we have only one field which is off here let's make another field say age so age is default value 1 and uh, let's take one one character field so i'm putting off on the last name as well so even though if i am passing a value here on the last name field it will not be saved because i have made the control as off okay now all the fields and values are mapped correctly now let's see the final step is we need to map these things so mapped and if there is any failed then that would be updated here and if we want to show the error that will go on to report it and uh, that's it uh, everything is done now let's activate this our method got activated now we have added this to our uh, interface view here but we also need to use this method so how we can use is copy the name and go to projection view and just say use action this activate now our coding part is all done the next step what we need to do is we need to create a button where we will be calling this method so for that let's go to go to our projection view and uh, in our last video we have created this copy action now we need to create the instance action so comma and paste here it will be for action and data action would be your method name so method name is uh, create instance copy paste and create instance is a text activate now everything is done and this is also activated now let's test our application let's go to business service double click on this okay so our application is on here and if you see you can directly see the button available here create instance and uh, let's click on go we have two records here let's delete both the records and now we will be creating a new record with default values in it so click on create instance 
and see we got our record created with default values and now here if you observe we have make first name age course and status and date of birth as on and gender gender probably we haven't passed but the course duration and the last name we have passed as off that's why the system has not considered the input value even though we have passed the course duration as well as last name but the system has not considered these two values now let's see what i'm talking about so these are the off fields course duration and the last name and the same we are seeing here course duration and the last name are not filled with the default values even though we have passed these values so course duration i have passed one and the last name i have passed is lnm okay now let's edit this record so course duration i am putting as five and the last name i am putting is last name status is active and let's update the gender as well draft is automatically updated here and click on save now our record is got saved here see everything is updated now go back and see we got our new record created which is created using instance method create instance or the static factory action which uh, we have used to create a new bo instance with default values so that's all for now in this video and uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you